Today I'm gonna to show you guys how I created a video that looks like this. Okay, so for this tutorial, I wanted to emulate a very gritty whiskey style commercial, similar to something that you'd see from Jack Daniels. The challenges of this location were that it was very narrow, and I do apologize for the angles that we have for the BTS. It's just because of the barrels being set up, it wasn't easy to get the camera in there to get closer up shots for you guys to see. So I'm gonna actually explain a shot in a second, but I'm gonna do a new thing where I'm rating my tutorials and the difficulty of them. And the way I'm gonna do my rating system is by five chili peppers. And so for this tutorial, I think it is four chili peppers. And the reason why is it took us two days to shoot that 25 second commercial. The lighting was very complicated comparatively to other things where I'm only using three lights. I think in total in two of the scenes, we we're using over eight or nine lights just to light that area properly. So that's something to keep aware of if you wanna do moving shots or walking shots. If you wanna have proper lighting, I mean proper lighting for those moving shots, you're gonna need a lot more lights to cover those areas and surface. All right, so today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about how to shoot an on-location product video. One of the most important things that you do when you first arrive is that you wanna look at all the different areas on that site. And so today we are working with a whiskey company and the perfect area I think for this more edgy style product video is gonna be in the barrel room because whiskey is fermented in barrels. And so I think this will add a lot and it makes a very interesting look that a lot of people don't get to see. And so once I'm in the barrel room, the first thing I'm gonna do before I start doing any lighting is I'm gonna find the spot that I wanna use. And right now I've decided that this going right down here, there's nice leading lines and then there's nice barrels as a backdrop and I think it's beautiful. So you can take your camera and I'm just gonna frame it up and see how it looks. So right now, this looks perfect for what I wanna do. I think it looks really nice. We haven't done any lighting yet. I just wanna make sure. So I have the, the lens that I'm gonna be using and I'm just kind of visually looking at what I think is gonna be good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the staging process. And what that entails is that we're gonna move lights around, play around, set up the product and see how it looks. And then if that doesn't work, then we're gonna start adjusting the lights so it fits with the area that I've chosen. Today, we are shooting for Treaty Oak Distilling Whiskey. And what is important is really understanding your client and their aesthetic. Even if it's paid or not, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna do the research. You're gonna wanna go on their Instagram, you're gonna go on, wanna go on their website and really look over and figure out their style. And that's what I did. I went through, I did a lot of research and I did a lot of studying to figure out that they're a little bit more edgy, more rock kind of style with their brand. And what I'm gonna do is now feature it in this area right here because I think that is gonna be the best part spot for the location. This is our master shot that I've set up. It took quite a bit of time to finesse with the lighting, but what I did is I got the bottle and we put it right in the center with the barrel lined straight down the aisle. Then I have my Aperture MW right in the back. It's waterproof, which helps a lot. And I'm putting it on top of a lens cap to balance it back here because I want it to be a little bit higher with the bottle. And then we have right here, we have the water as our reflection. And then on top, I'm running a 300D with a Fresnel spotlight and then using a, a diffusion just to make it a little bit softer because it was a little bit too strong. Over there, I have the Godox or Godex, I don't know how you pronounce it, but with a snoot just for the label and it's hitting right here. And then in the back, we're running an RGB tube and we're pointing it up at these to backlight it just like so. Doom and goes underneath. And then I have placed very cheap new year, new, new year, new year lights 
these right here, $25 on Amazon. And what I've done is I've placed them all around down the aisle to give us a little bit of light onto the barrels. All right, my next secret weapon is atmosphere aerosol. I love using this stuff. It is amazing to really thicken kind of the look, have a little bit of refract, 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 refractal light. Holy, refracted light. This is great for having a, softening your light and having a refract, refracted light. <laughs> refracted light, ah, it's okay, I don't care if I mess up. People get it, I'm human. All right, and so the trick with this is I like to spray it behind the subject. If you put it in front of the subject, you're gonna soften the subject a lot, so just be careful when using it. And what I do is just take a little spray like this. And it causes a nice linger. We let it settle for a second, and then it has a nice linger. And when the lights are off, you can really notice the difference. And I'll show you guys with the lights off right now. What I'm gonna do is I have the 1DX on the Ronin S, and then I'm using a 50 with the Polar Pro Polarizer. Again, I use this to cut off the reflection on the bottle. And I'm just gonna go straight down towards the bottle using the autofocus and then come back straight back. And then maybe if I see any cool ideas, I'm gonna make some variations as I go. the next shot I'm gonna do is the pouring shot. And so we got our glass right here. We've used fake ice again. And then we still have the Aperture 300 with our Fresnel and the diffusion, right? Coming at the top light to give a nice overall lighting of the reflecting pool. And then I put the MC bat over here on the side now, and you're gonna love this. To diffuse it, paper towel. Really good trick. And it gives a really nice soft look and it's gonna give us a little flare coming into the camera, which I think is gonna be a nice warm look for the pouring shots. And then the last light that I have is right over here and it's the Godox with the snoot on it. And it's just hitting from an angle to create a reflection. So your angle of reflection is by the level of the object um, towards the level of the camera. So the better of the reflection is the height of the camera to the object and the angle, you need to match that with your light and that'll create the perfect reflection. All right, so for this next shot, what I'm doing is I'm gonna have my dad, since he complains about never being in my films, he's in it right here. I'm gonna have him walking down with the whiskey down the aisle of the barrels, and I'm gonna follow along. I have a light low down on the ground, which is gonna illuminate the logo. I have my uh, lantern on the 300D to really light up a nice even look. And then we have a back catch light right over here. And I'm just gonna follow closely with a 35 on the Ronin and just capture the bottle swinging back and forth as he goes through these barrels. Cool, thumbs up. Go faster. Perfect. So the next shot that we kind of came up with, I realized that laying the bottle in with the submerged water looks really cool. So we're turning the tube on like this and we have enough, we're gonna have this light right over here on this side. And what we're gonna do is just slowly roll on and off to grow the shadow. And in slow motion at 60 frames, it looks really cool. Cool. It does, but <clears throat> Dad, I'm doing For the pour rotation shot, 
Unfortunately, we were blocking the camera. Like I said, it was very hard to get the camera in there because of the barrels, but I'm just gonna show you guys what I did from right here. So I had Kendall pouring the bottle and I tried to match her speed each time. And so I would rotate the exact, the vertical of the bottle would be lined up with the camera. So when she would rotate, I would rotate and we'd follow together like this. And so we did it about oh, close to 25 times of just pouring, pouring, pouring. And one thing I didn't do, which now I would recommend for anybody that wants to do that, is set your focus and lock it off and then try not to get any closer or farther. I used autofocus on it, which was a mistake. I do not recommend that because it jumped the focus a little bit. So set your focus, lock it off on manual, and then do that rotation. All right, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I wanted to keep it simpler than a lot of my other videos because I know that I've been showing all these crazy techniques using a drill and all these different movements, but I wanna show you guys something that really just relies on cinematography, location, and lighting because those things are gonna be huge. You don't need to do all these fancy movements. You don't need to do all these crazy cuts. You can, if you can have solid cinematography and lighting, you're gonna make a beautiful product video no matter what. Um, if you guys, like this video, please comment, share, subscribe if you have any questions and until next time.